Former South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford is the latest Republican to announce a presidential challenge to Donald Trump's reelection campaign. He compares his bid for the GOP's nomination to the biblical story of David and Goliath, while party leaders in the Palmetto State call his campaign a vanity project. Caitlin Sansel talked with Sanford one on one. Many consider Mark Sanford's presidential campaign a long shot as GOP committees in several states, including his own, have decided to forego a 2020 primary. This has always been South Carolina's moment to be in the spotlight in making our voice heard as the first in the South Republican primary. That's not going to happen this year. I think it's a mistake and I think more telling is that it, it says that they must be worried about something. And Sanford believes that worry stems from what he calls Trump fatigue among Republicans. While GOP leadership calls his campaign a vanity project, he argues the party has lost its way. If I'm looking for vanity, this is the wrong way to look for it because the idea of being a human pinata to Donald Trump does not work out well for one's vanity. For Sanford, the biggest issue facing the nation is increasing debt deficits and spending. If we stay on the present course, I am absolutely convinced that there are going to be damning consequences for our way of life, for the American dream, for our kids' prospects, for our 401k plan, for our retirement plan, uh, for all the things that go with, with, with the building of a, a life or a, or a retirement. Sanford acknowledged his embattled relationship with the president and accepted that his past indiscretions would likely be a weakness the president could exploit. Are you concerned about that moment in your life, you know, impacting your credibility in this campaign? I, I think the president will certainly attempt to make that uh, the case, but it's a rather humbling personal journey to go on when people back home who know you best say, we don't approve of that chapter of life and how you handle it, you messed up. But we know you and we trust you and we'll give you a second chance and we'll send you back to the United States House of Representatives to represent our viewpoint in Washington, D.C. That's a really humbling journey to to be on and that's the one I've, I've traveled. Sanford touted his two terms as governor and six terms in Congress as valuable experience that has prepared him for what he called a momentous chapter in his political career. And as Sanford moves forward with his presidential bid, he reflected on the first moment he considered a run for the Oval Office. This came up the day after my primary uh, loss last June. A dear friend called and he said, look, God just cleared your calendar for a reason. I know what it is. And I was like, I'm so glad you got the Direct Connect. Fill me in. From Charleston, Caitlin Stancil, Live 5 News.